Heavy strategic bombers are capable of delivering the largest payload of air-to-ground weaponry, usually bombs, and longest-range takeoff to landing of their era. The amount of payloads carried by heavy bombers has risen at a faster pace than the size of their airframes due to advancements in aircraft design and engineering, particularly in power plants and aerodynamics. Out of all the bombers that have been in operation, today the bus will present the top eight bombers with the highest weapons payload capacity. The eighth highest weapons payload capacity bomber is the Tupolev Tu-95 Bear. The aircraft is a strategic bomber which was in service with Soviet Air Forces in 1956 and now mainly used by the Russian Air Force. It is the only propeller-powered strategic bomber still in operational use today. The Tu-95 MS Bear H can carry six nuclear-armed KH-55 Grenade long-range cruise missiles with a range of 3,000 kilometers. The aircraft can also carry 14 anti-ship KHSD missiles with a range of 600 kilometers or eight conventionally armed KH-101 air launch cruise missiles with a range of up to 3,000 kilometers. The maximum weapons payload of this bomber is 20,000 kilograms or 44,092 pounds. At number 7, we have the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, commonly known as the Stealth Bomber. This is an American heavy strategic bomber with stealth technology that allows it to penetrate thick anti-air defenses. It is a flying wing design with a two-person crew that was designed during the Cold War. The B-2 is capable of carrying maximum estimated limit of 50,000 pounds or 23,000 kilograms of ordnance. Nuclear ordnance includes the B-61 and B-83 nuclear bombs. The AGM-129 ACM cruise missiles was also intended for use on the B-2 platform. The B-2 has various conventional weapons in its arsenal, able to equip Mark 82 and Mark 84 bombs, CBU-87 combined effect munitions, Gator mines, and the CBU-97 sensor-fused weapons. At number 6 is the Soviet M-4 bomber. This aircraft was designed to provide a long-range aviation bomber capable of attacking targets in North America. This aircraft came as a shock to the U.S. who had no idea the Soviets had developed a jet bomber. However, it was quickly realized that the bomber's range was insufficient to attack the U.S. while still returning to the Soviet Union. Only a few M4s from the first production run were ever used in combat. The maximum warload was 24 tons or 53,000 pounds in the form of four 6-ton BRAB-600 armor-piercing bombs. Other warload configurations include various FAB general-purpose bombs and fusion bombs. Up next at number 5 is the Soviet Tupolev Tu-22M or the Backfire. This is a long-range strategic supersonic and maritime strike bomber. It was first used by the Soviet Air Forces as a missile carrier strategic bomber and by the Soviet Naval Aviation as a long-range maritime anti-shipping aircraft during the Cold War. Significant numbers remain in service with the Russian Air Force. As of 2014 data, more than 100 Tu-22Ms are in use. The aircraft is provided with hardpoints to carry KH-22 standoff missiles, KH-15 nuclear or KH-15P anti-radar missiles, and FAB-250 or FAB-1500 freefall bombs. The internal weapons bay and wing and fuselage pylons each have a capability of 24,000 kilograms or 53,000 pounds of weapons payload. Up next at number 4 is the American Boeing B-52 Stratofortress. It is capable of carrying up to 70,000 pounds or 32 kilograms of weapons. Nuclear gravity bombs were removed from the B-52's capabilities because it was no longer considered survivable enough to penetrate modern air defenses. Few years ago, Boeing upgraded the internal rotary launchers to enable the internal carriage of smart bombs. The upgraded B-52 can carry a full load of AGM-86Bs totaling 62,660 pounds. AGM-183A air Launch rapid response hypersonic missile and the future long-range standoff nuclear-armed air launch cruise missile will join the B-52 inventory in the future. 
The third highest payload bomber ever built in history is the Converse B-36 Peacemaker. This was a strategic bomber that served with the United States Air Force from 1949 until 1959. With a wingspan of 70 meters, it was the largest combat aircraft ever built. This was the first bomber capable of delivering any nuclear weapon in the United States arsenal from within its four bomb bays without requiring any modifications to the aircraft. The four bomb bays could carry up to 87,200 pounds or 39,600 kilograms of bombs. The Convair B-36 was the only aircraft designed to carry the T-12 Cloud Maker, a gravity bomb weighing 19,800 kilograms and designed to produce an earthquake bomb effect. Number two on the list for the top eight highest weapons load bomber ever built is the Tupolev Tu-160. This is the world's heaviest Mark II Plus supersonic combat aircraft. It is the fastest bomber in service and the largest variable sweep wing airplane in service. It was designed by the Tupolev Design Bureau in the Soviet Union in the 1970s, but it has been undergoing upgrades to electronic systems since the early 2000s. As of 2016, the Russian Air Force's long-range aviation branch has at least 16 aircraft in service. Weapons are carried in two internal bays, each capable of holding 20,000 kilograms of free-fall weapons or a rotary launcher for nuclear missiles. Additional missiles may also be carried externally. The aircraft's total weapons load capacity is 45,000 kilograms or 99,208 pounds. The highest weapons load bomber is the Rockwell B-1 Lancer. This is a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy bomber used by the United States Air Force. In August 2019, Air Force unveiled a modification to the B-1B to allow it to carry more weapons internally and externally. The B-1B has a larger combined payload with external payload than the Tu-160. Payload consists of three internal bomb bays for 75,000 pounds or 34 kilograms of ordnance combined with six external hardpoints of ordnance with a capacity of 50,000 pounds or 23,000 kilograms. The configuration also enables it to carry heavier weapons such as hypersonic missiles like the AGM-183 ARRW. As of 2016, the Air Force had 62 B-1Bs in service. After 2025, the Northrop Grumman B-21 Raider will begin re replacing the B-1B and all the B-1s will be decommissioned by 2036. And that's all for today. Thank you guys for viewing in. Bye-bye.